Where does innovation come from? More often than not, it stems from a need or a problem that requires a solution. This is what inspires the engineers, technicians, and research scientists at Owens Corning. Owens Corning is not only a world leader in insulation, they've taken it to a whole new level altogether. Insulation used to be thought of as just a way to keep in and or keep out heat and cold. But the folks at Owens Corning have been developing and manufacturing some of the most dynamic and functional insulation in the biz. Now when talking about insulation, you should include descriptors like acoustics and fire resistance. In a business where innovation is the name of the game, Owens Corning isn't afraid to push the envelope to stay ahead of the competition. My name is Julian Francis. I'm the president of the insulation business at Owens Corning. And in that capacity, I have accountability for the global operations uh, of the insulation business. Today, Owens Corning consists of three businesses, our roofing business, our insulation business, and our glass fiber reinforcements business, all really founded on the basis of glass fiber uh, the invention back in 1938. And then after the post-war boom in construction of single-family homes, uh, the insulation business really started to take off. Residential construction is probably where we're most famous with our iconic pink insulation that was introduced as early as 1950s. In 2013, um, we bought into a business, we acquired a business called Thermofiber, which is a mineral wool product. So actually it's made of, uh, of waste material from steel manufacturing, but it melts at a much higher temperature. And so it's very, very good at, uh, at both its thermal performance, but also its fire resistive properties. Angie is a technical services leader with Owens Corning, who develops fire control systems using mineral wool as insulation. Owens Corning Thermofiber pioneered the first perimeter fire containment system. And we designed these life safety systems around our mineral wool insulation products. And so it's systems like this that we install in some of the high rise buildings like One World Trade Center. So a perimeter fire containment system is constructed primarily out of mineral wool insulation. And really the mineral wool insulation is the workhorse behind the assembly just because it can resist very high temperatures for a very long period of time. We have containment systems that offer protection up to three hours so that it allows more time in a building for people to evacuate safely. Over here we have a representation of a curtain wall in an exterior high-rise building. We see the Thermofiber Owens Corning mineral wool insulation is covering and protecting a portion of that exterior wall. The critical part of the assembly though is really the barrier. And this is where you have a, a joint between the floor slab and the exterior curtain wall. Now imagine if you did not fill that void with any material, fire would have a free path to spread from floor to floor. Today we're using the ASTM E84 Steiner Tunnel uh, to assess the surface burning characteristics of our mineral wool insulation. So in the E84 tunnel test, the uh, sample is top loaded in a ceiling orientation so that the, when the flames come up, they hit the bottom of the sample just like on every sample, even comparison samples. Uh, from there, it depends on what the product is made of. We'll then determine how far down the flame front travels down the surface of the material. These are the results from the ASTM E84 Steiner tunnel test. We get a flame spread index and a smoke developed index, and those help us meet the codes. This particular apparatus is the E119 small scale quarter wall test. So basically this is a wall furnace and this would be our mock curtain wall insulated with the mineral wool insulation and we would have a window opening here on the full scale test. We'll fill this room with fire and we'll get to temperatures well above 1800 degrees Fahrenheit to demonstrate the fire resistive performance of the wall system itself.
Owens Corning's thermofiber insulation is not only flame resistant, but it also has noise reduction capabilities. I'm Corey Taylor. I'm the technical lead for the Acoustic Research Center. This is where we design, develop, and evaluate the acoustic performance of our material. So we're going to be running our ASTM E90 test, and this evaluates the sound performance from room to room. The only way sound energy is going to get from our source room to our receive room is through the wall partition that we have in place. So we're going to start this test, and what we're actually measuring is the sound pressure levels over time. So these are the levels of our source room, and here we can see that we are about uh, 95, 97 decibels in our source room. And if we look at the receive chamber, the levels in there are around 60 decibels, just a little under. So what that tells us is that the wall that we have in place is mitigating approximately 30 decibels of sound at this one particular frequency. Not all thermofiber products are created equal. We need different product designs for different applications. Our light density products are designed for interior applications to ensure that our homes are quieter, more comfortable, and safer in the event of a fire in a residential zone. On the other hand, our heavy density products are better used in uh, perimeter applications on the outside of buildings to deliver that superior fire performance that is required. We focus very deeply on the overall performance of the building. So not just from a thermal standpoint as when people think about insulation, but also acoustics, uh, life safety, and then the overall performance of the building through a building science outlook, moisture protection, uh, air infiltration. So many of these things we design into our products, it's not just about insulating a home thermally against cold or against heat, but also the performance of the building as a whole. Acoustics, fire, how it interacts with other systems in the building. And that means we just have to be experts in the building science.